good morning you guys welcome back to another video i'm tamaria and i go by tamaria lakay and today we're just gonna get into a quick little simple easy biscuit and gravy recipe so these are the seasonings that i use to go ahead and season my gravy we got some salt black pepper red crushed peppers garlic and onion powder these are the sausage that I like to use. And then, yes, yeah, some biscuits from straight out the can. Now, I don't have any whole milk, so I will be using almond milk to make the gravy. I went ahead and preset my oven, put the biscuits in for 15 minutes. Started cooking on my sausage. You don't want to cook them, like, too much on one side because you want to go ahead and get them just kind of, like, thawed out so that you can start breaking them down if you're using frozen and not fresh so yeah, once it starts to get a little bit of heat up under it, then you want to just go ahead and break it down into a bunch of little pieces. You can make them as big or as small as you like, but I just went ahead and just really got into chopping it up. All right, so once you get your sausage to the size that you like it, you want to go ahead and start getting your gravy ready. So the only thing you're going to really need for your gravy is some butter, some flour, and then whatever types of seasonings you wanna put in there. Go ahead and melt your butter in the pot and just let that cook down. Don't let it get too brown because you don't want your gravy to be like extra, extra brown. But yeah, just go ahead and let that butter melt in your meat. And then once it's all melted down, then you just wanna go ahead and start to add your flour. You wanna add your flour a little bit at a time because I used one fourth of a cup and I don't even think I needed that much for, you know, the small servings of biscuit and gravy that I was making. So you just wanna add a little bit in at a time as you're making your gravy. So let's just say you put in the whole one fourth cup of flour, but then you decide like, oh my God, that's way too thick. The only thing you need to do is just go ahead and dilute it. So what you'll see me do is I'll start off with the almond milk and then after the almond milk, I'll just use water to dilute the gravy or just make the consistency a little less thicker. So yeah, you could use water, you could use more milk, just whatever kind of liquid you want to add in there to just make sure your consistency is the way that you like it. And then of course, you want to go ahead and add your seasonings to your own, you know, your own taste palette as well. So I don't have any measurements for that. But as you'll see, I didn't use all of that flour and it was already super thick right so i thought maybe like you know a little half a cup of milk would do the job but no baby you just have to really work in your liquids as you go to just really get that consistency the way that you like it but once you do just go ahead and give it a taste and make sure it's good before you put it on your biscuits and then yeah you're gonna have fun i really like that i was able to just use whatever i have in this in the refrigerator and still be able to get <clears throat> excuse me still be able to get a really decent flavored gravy i remember when i was pregnant with my daughter i would always go to brahms after getting off work before going home and if you ever had brahms biscuit and gravy then you know it's hitting but i don't think they have a brahms where we're at now so i just be having to make my own but this came out so good and i really enjoyed it and once I was done, I just had me like a little glass of orange juice to go with it. I got the orange juice that's like 50% less sugar. So I feel like overall, this was kind of moderately healthy apart from the fact that I did use regular flour. I have tried to make the same recipe with almond flour and it just does not do any justice to that actual true authentic gravy taste that I was looking for. But um, yeah, I don't feel bad about eating, eating none of this. This was really good. And I just wanted to come and share this recipe with y'all. As y'all see, I'm just going ahead and adding the liquids as I can just to go ahead and break down all that extra flour. Because like I said, a little bit of flour will go a long way. So you probably won't even have to use one fourth cup. What I'm going to do is put down in the description exactly the measurements that i use for the flowers and all of the other stuff that way you can just go ahead and estimate on how it is that you would like to go ahead and portion yours out or try the recipe for yourself but yeah you just really want to work all that liquid in the flour and just keep 
making sure you break up all the clumps and then once you have it to the consistency that you want then go ahead and add your seasonings so basically it's like black pepper a little bit of salt which you don't need too much because the sausage has a lot of you know sodium in it already the crushed red peppers for a little bit of spice it wasn't too spicy i probably could have went in with a little bit more than what i did but i just wanted to add a little kick because the kids were going to eat it too so apart from that a little pinch of garlic and a little pinch of onion powder it was really good I really enjoyed the consistency now I know the color would have been a lot more white had I used whole milk but like I said I was using I was using almond milk instead and then the biscuits were done I let them beep one too many times so they were a little bit extra brown on the bottom but this recipe was so quick it really only took like 15 minutes if I wasn't making the video I would have been done with this in like no time but yeah it came out really good and then I did just go ahead and throw a few scrambled eggs in the pan to just go along with this after watching the video back I was like man some some hash browns or some potatoes would have been good with this but i'll probably do that next time but yeah here's the eggs and here's everything plated up like i said i'll leave all of the ingredients in the bottom or the description of the video and yeah that's pretty much it for today i really enjoy this i hope you did too um i'll see you guys in the next video bye